Hi folks, this is Tim, aka TurboBB. In today's video, I will be addressing a um, fellow farm members um, on CPF, Ricky P. I'm actually not even going to try to pronounce his whole member name. Uh, but Ricky P. writes about, he had a question about the lowest mode on the TN31 and whether or not it matches um, the claim lumens. So, with that said, I'm going to enlist the aid of my PVC LMD here. I have currently my light meter set to the 400 range, which is much more sensitive. Um, this tiny little USB light here, and then I actually have the sensor blocked off with a piece of paper um, to prevent any stray lights since we're measuring at such low levels. Now, with that said, um, I will be using two lights today to help out in this um, test, right? So first up would be a Xeno G10 V2, which on low mode is claimed by the manufacturer um, to output 10 lumens. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and dump this on the PVC LMD. Just make sure it's about centered. And as you can see, just about spot on, 10 lumens here. Now again, it, it could be that this tube is off or my light meter is off either or but let's just say okay for argument's sake and relative comparison purposes that this truly is 10 lumens okay with that said then the next light up will be a zebra light sc30 it's my um, primary edc for quite a while now this one is claimed by zebra light to output uh, 0.4 lumens on its lowest mode and four lumens on the next level up in the low lowest mode so we're going to go ahead and dump that on here. This is currently on the lowest mode. Now I left these lights running because it's such a low energy draw, plus they are well-regulated lights. Um, so as you can see, it's about 0 0.3, 0 0.4, right about there, right? Bump it up a notch and make sure that it's centered. And we're at 3.3 lumens. Um, so just a little shy of manufacturer claims of four lumens. But again, it could also be the difference of each specific light. Um, the voltage for it could be slightly off on each LED or whatnot. So again, um, it's not exact science. I mean, measuring lumens is a very tricky business. So uh, especially if you don't have a full uh, do-it-yourself integrating sphere or actual integrating sphere. But regardless, so I feel like right now, after having vetted it through two lights, we're pretty close, right, for, for each light. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and dump in the TN31. This is on the lowest mode. Now through night has claimed um, 0.4 lumens on its lowest mode, which is uh, level one. Uh, sorry, 0.5 lumens, and I'm measuring 0.4 between 0.4 to 0.3 right now. Wait, let me make sure this is actually perfectly centered. All right, so okay, 0.4 lumens. Uh, with that said, though, one thing to keep in mind though is that even though the measured output is at 0.4 to 0.5 lumens. In reality, because of that giant reflector, um, the giant deep reflector, the distance from um, the, where the LED actually is to where it meets the glass, it's much thicker, right? So you have roughly about three inches. Well, I'm guessing roughly three inches there. So in fact, it may actually be putting out more at the source, but by the time it, it reaches um, the sensor, it's at 0 0.4 to 0 0.5. Now, the reason why I say this is go ahead and look at that um, the light meter screen. That's actually pretty bright. That does not look like half a lumens, right? And I'm keeping this aligned with the camera lens so that it's at equal, equal distance when I um, compare it to the other two lights. All right, so that's the TN31. Now, with the SC30, 0.3.4 lumens, you know, more flighty profile, so obviously a different beam seems like it's putting out less. But as you can see, zebra light, not a very deep reflector, um, right up against the glass, and that's how it achieves its 0.3 to 0.4 lumens. Likewise, Xeno G10 V2, not a very deep reflector, um, deeper than the SC30, but Again, much closer to the glass than, say, um, the, the uh, TN31. So now, in fact, this is um, 10 lumens, and it actually does look like it as compared to TN31. Right. And again, back to the Zebra Light, SC30. It's 0 0.3, 0 0.4 lumens. And back to the TN31 again. Like I said, intense beam focus, so 
seems a little brighter than it actually is, but like I said, based upon what I'm measuring, it is roughly uh, close to what Through Night has claimed, half a lumen. All right, so Ricky P, I hope that addresses your questions, as well as those who may, may have been curious about the uh, lowest output on the TN31. Um, thanks again for watching.